is responding tonight to people who scolded her for a Twitter link to a sharply worded article on dealing with transgender students. But as Bureau Chief Julie Carey discovered, there is some common ground between Elizabeth Schultz and some of her critics. Shame on you. That was one response from a political activist to this Twitter link from school board member Elizabeth Schultz. It's focused on an Illinois school district's struggle to accommodate a transgender student. The writer makes this statement. Transgenders are men who struggle with mental illness and sexual perversion. This Schultz critic fired back, the crap in that article is disgusting and shame on you for linking to it. I'm not supporting any statements when I make a link in a, in a Twitter feed. Schultz was the lone Schultz. no vote in May when the school board added gender identity to its non-discrimination policy. She tells me she didn't even read the whole article, but wanted to spotlight a potential threat she sees to Fairfax County in its future treatment of transgender students. You basically have the federal government setting education policy in individual school systems around the country under the threat of pulling federal monies. Robert Rigby is a West Potomac High School teacher and a spokesman for a new group called FCPS Pride. He wants Schultz to apologize and he's invited her to meet with students. Because I think once she meets real transgender students and sees the concerns of her parents, she'll scale back her statements and her conversation. We discovered Rigby and Schultz do have some common ground. Both want to know what's holding up a consultant's report that's meant to guide regulations for accommodating transgender students. I, I am impatient also. I'm going in a few weeks to say uh, we're waiting for this. A Fairfax County School spokesman says a consultant has been reviewing policies with staff, but he also notes that there are many pending state and federal cases that could have an impact on the eventual proposed regulations. In Fairfax County, I'm Julie Carey. News